Hey guys, Hackexploit here, back again with another video, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install Kali Linux 2.0 on a virtual machine. Now, I'm going to be using the Oracle Virtual Box for this um, tutorial. I'm going to be explain, explaining it um, all through the process. So, this is what you have to do um, open up Virtual Box and make sure you've downloaded the latest Kali Linux 2.0 ISO from the website, um, whatever version you want to run 64 bit or 32 bit. So uh, what you want to do is hit new and um, give it a name. I'm going to call mine Kali 64-bit, um, and I'm going to select uh, Linux and make sure you select Debian. Sorry, uh, where's Debian? Debian 64-bit or 32-bit according to the ISO you're going to be using. So hit next. Um, this is the amount of RAM you want to give your uh, virtual machine. I recommend about two gigabytes, so 2,048 megabytes. That's two gigabytes of RAM. I create a virtual hard drive now that's if you want to install it um, uh, if you want to install it just hit create which I'm going to be showing you and select virtual box disk image or you can select a VMDK a virtual machine disk which can then be used by uh, different um, virtual machines globally so uh, the next thing you want to do um, is select whatever you want i'm going to select a vdi just for this virtual box uh, uh, virtual machine because this is the only one i use so next um dynamic dynamically allocated that's fine with me fixed size if whatever you want you can just do that i'm not going to be installing it i'm just going to be showing you that uh, how, how to set it up so next um, eight gigs is fine uh, create and once it's created, you want to hit settings. Make sure you've selected your Kali setting. Um, you want to go to advanced. Uh, make sure all of that is done. Uh, leave encryption like that and go to system. Now in system, you want to make sure boot order. It also boots from the network. Um, pointing device. Uh, you can select whatever mouse you want um, and, and stuff like that. Um, processor. You can select how many processors you want to use. One is fine for me. And the most important. Uh, setting here is to make sure the enable PAE or NX is uh, ticked. Make sure you tick that. Acceleration, leave that the way it is. Um, display, give it 128 megabit megabytes of a dedicated video memory. Mem uh, monitor count, how many monitors you're going to be use. I use two, but uh, for this demonstration, I'm going to be using one. So that's one. Enable 3D acceleration and uh, hit storage. Now here is where you select your uh, uh, Kali Linux ISO. Uh, mine is in my downloads, as you can see Kali Linux um, a 64-bit. Open that up. Audio, select whatever audio driver you have or speakers connected. Um, mine, I'm going to just be using the normal computer speakers. Network, now this is the most important uh, thing here. Now um, it allows you to use up to four adapters. What I recommend using is a bridged adapter and selecting your Wi-Fi adapter here. That most of the time, that's the only problem that you usually get here. If you select a NAT driver, I mean, uh, usually something uh, goes wrong. But uh, if you're having those problems connecting to the internet once you're on Kali Linux, make sure that you select a bridged adapter and make sure that this is your uh, Wi-Fi adapter, 802.11. Uh, serial ports if you, if you want to connect a serial device um, USB whatever USB controller you want to use um, shared and user interface leave all of that to itself and just hit OK uh, so I'm going to start it up and show you alright so the machine is started um, and I'm going, I'm going to just use live just to show you that everything works the way it's supposed to Alright, so once Kali Linux is booted up, uh, what you want to do is just check your uh, Wi-Fi adapter. It's okay if it says wired or uh, wired connected, it doesn't matter, it doesn't need, it's going to be using the Wi-Fi, but uh, if it says wired, there's no problem with that, it's going to be using Wi-Fi. So what, what you're going to do is open the browser, I'm, I'm going to use the stock browser Ice Weasel. It's not that bad actually, um, just sorry, it's been taking a bit of time because I'm running it on a virtual machine, alright. Uh, let me just enlarge that uh, and I'm going to open a website like Kali Docs for example and as you can see uh, internet is working I can actually scroll through the website and then can install all the new repositories for example here um, so that's so that's one, 
So that's what I was trying to explain. Everything works perfectly if you just follow those settings. Most of the times, many people get stuck with the network adapter um, part, um, but th that's basically how to do it. Um, if you have any any problems you want you want me to help you with, um, just let me know in the comments or comment on my blog, and I will help you. I will reply. Um, if you like this video helped you, please leave a like. Um, if you want more videos from me, subscribe. And yeah, I hope you guys have a great day. Peace.